DIY friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today's DIY in progress is going to be a little bit different than my usual DIY content. To be completely honest, I went through a really bad week where Jeffrey had COVID. I was showing symptoms of COVID, but wasn't testing negative, but we both had to isolate, so we couldn't go anywhere. Our dog got sprayed by a skunk, and like, it was just, it was just bad. It was a bad week. I really wanted to be creative because I am naturally a doer. I love to be creative. I love to be making DIYs, but instead I was stuck on a couch. I just found myself looking out the window a lot. And while I was looking out this window, I kept thinking to myself, man, that backyard is in shambles. Why does it look so bad? Did Kenobi take another trench? Gosh, we can do better. We can do better. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh. Makeover! So it was the end of the week and I still really couldn't go anywhere. I was feeling like back to semi tip top shape. So I decided if I can't go and create a DIY, then it was just time to buckle down and start planning some really grand outdoor DIY projects for myself this spring. And I figured why not bring you guys along with me through the planning process. It's something I don't genuinely get to talk about a lot or deep dive into, but it is a very important process of the DIY why space. So hopefully you find it helpful. If you do have any questions about this planning process, please do ask it down in the comment section below. I will try to answer as many questions as I can. If you are new here, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. Although this is not my usual content, hopefully you find this valuable. With that said, grab a beverage of choice, get yourself comfy, and come along with me as we plan some DIYs. Editor, roll the tape. Boop! Why can't you cut the grass? We could trade him in for a goat. That's not a bad idea. So these are the areas I'm going to focus on in this backyard planning video. The first one is this back corner kind of random tree area. This is where my hopes and dreams are to create a beautiful DIY greenhouse built of recycled windows. I am so excited for this project and I think this is the perfect spot to put it. Second, we have this sad barren stick filled pit area. This is where I want to turn it into a Pinterest inspired fire pit area where all of my friends and family can gather around and enjoy this coming summer. Right now, this spot is inspiring nobody. Nada. And lastly, third spot is the backyard gate fence area. As you can see, the fence is, well, <laughs> falling over and the dog has destroyed the window area and it just needs a massive update to make it more pretty, more functional, and just aesthetically nice looking. It's just awful. <laughs> Oh, and then maybe we'll throw this in as a 3.5, the elephant graveyard, the place where all toys go to die. <laughs> we need to fix the trench this summer. It's a must. There will be other backyard DIY projects this summer, but these are kind of like the main areas I really wanna put some of my like hardcore effort into, if you know what I mean. So the first thing I do when wanting to tackle any project, big or small, is get myself organized with a project board. Just know that this doesn't have to be electronic. This could be done by writing it down in a notebook. Use whatever works for you so that you actually use it. So I use my iPad, I use my computer, I have a desktop computer, and I like my good old handy notebook. So before we get into all the nitty gritty, I'm gonna show you the computer that I am using because I do get a lot of questions about this. So the computer that I'm using is the Microsoft Surface and I absolutely love it. You can turn it into a tablet with one click of a button and there you go. It becomes a tablet that you can walk with, you can draw with, you can take photos with it. Everything works perfectly. It's a dream. I am a big fan of organizing apps and for this project, Project board, I'm going to be using one called Milanote. So with that said, let's get into it. As you can see, I have a wonderful picture at the top and I've given myself a title. I just like to make my boards look pretty. I find them a little bit more exciting to come back to and it just makes it a little bit more pizzazzed filled. I don't think that's a word, but it's a word today. So then I always create four pillars for each project. So let's go into each pillar and let's talk about the goals. In this section, I really like to break down my goals as a reminder to kind of stay on task. I'm not sure if you're like me, but things can get a little out of hand when you're brainstorming. 
<laughs> so having this kind of goal area really helps me narrow down my ideas and come back to my goals of what am I trying to do. In this section, I've also added some extra projects that might be nice to tackle if the primary task gets accomplished, you know, such as a front door refresh, which would be mighty nice. And then I would love to create some kind of like lounge seating for my deck area, maybe like a lounge uh, swing seat in my tree who knows and then I also included a area here for the backyard so this is going to take us into a section where I've gone and taken a bunch of photos of my backyard and I use this as a reference point when I'm planning everything out so we have the fence area which doesn't look great right now we have the fire pit area which also doesn't look great right now <laughs> and we have that back corner area which also doesn't look great right now so I'm very excited about this because seeing all these photos in this area really make me excited to want to change it. So let's go into the inspiration pillar, which is really just my favorite part because it's all about the brainstorming. This is a part where I don't hold back. This isn't about restrictions. This isn't about what your space looks like currently. This is about grabbing inspiration. So I'll go to Pinterest, I'll go to Instagram, I'll go to magazines. So let's go into the inspiration board. I'll show you what I pulled in for my greenhouse. I pulled in so many different photos of this greenhouse, greenhouse ideas, windows, builds, patio walk-up ideas, interiors. Once I'm done pulling in enough photos, I feel like I have enough inspiration in one space. This is where I really like to start breaking down what I have. So I'll do something like this. I'll take a drawing tool and I just start kind of circling elements that I personally like about these photos. So this really helps me break it down. So let's start. I like the window areas in this top one. Oh, I like the shelves in the windows on this one. I love this color. Yes, I spell color with a U. Welcome to Canada. Oh, I love these beds on the outside with this little walkway. Yes. Oh, I love the tub in this one. I've been really drawn to these like window greenhouses where you basically build the whole greenhouse out of like recycled windows. So once I have that and I've circled kind of all the elements that I'm looking for, that's when I will create a to-do list. I'll drag it in here and I'll start writing down what I liked. So I like the recycled, the windows. That's a no brainer. I like this kind of green or black combo color. I didn't have anything sourced on this one, but I do really like this idea of like maybe like a French door that opens up into it. So I'm gonna write a French door, although I didn't have that, but I also really love these like farmhouse window door. We want to hang planters from the ceiling. I like the idea that the floor could be built with either like a gravel or a stone, something aggregate. I think I have a lot on my list here. This is good enough. This gives me a really good understanding of what am I looking for in my project. And I've gone through and done the same process for both my fence update, which as you can see, there's a bunch of photos here and my fire pit here. At this point in my planning process, this is where I like to get practical. This is where I actually get into the space that I'm planning for. I bring a measuring tape and I really break down what can I actually do based on my wants list. So let's go into the backyard and like actually figure this out. I'm in the backyard. I have Jeffrey with me. I also have some spray paint and we have a measuring tape and I'm just gonna head into the back corner so that we can uh, start doing some measuring and maybe mark out where we want this greenhouse to go. Kenobi, what do you think of a greenhouse? Are you gonna be a good boy and not destroy it? Yeah. So I'll show you what's in this back corner right now. We have like three weird shrubs randomly and then the previous owners I guess were using this for a fire pit disposal but there's also like garbage in here so we're actually gonna have to look to get this properly disposed of because there is some waste management issues here keeping like zoning requirements in mind let me just mark I feel like I'm failing that drunk test that the cops like walk a line and I'm like I don't think I can officer. 
We looked into zoning areas, so we know how much like feet we have to be out off of any structure, which is a fence. So make sure you look into those things when you're building. There are bylaws and things that are gonna make it suck. I have been waiting weeks to bust this bad boy out. So we've marked a bunch of markers on the ground to indicate our measurement lines and where we have to stay within. It's just gonna help us visualize the end game, you know, and see what's possible. But uh, removing all of this is our first step. That's not gonna be fun. Okay, so basically we have the whole kind of greenhouse zoned out as to where it will live once this giant hill is gone. Some issues that I'm gonna run into is obviously there's a hill here and a fence line, so we have to take the hill into consideration. And Jeffrey seems to be very keen on not wanting to have any grass to cut in weird areas, which I guess I can understand. Why would anyone do drugs when they could just mow a lawn? So we're gonna have to think about some kind of way to organically shape the aggregate that goes around the greenhouse. But we could put some beds here, you know, some lavender and lemongrass and echinacea in the front and then have the two doors here. It's gonna look great. <laughs> so moving on to the fire pit area, which it doesn't look great right now, I'm not gonna lie. We had a beautifully stacked <laughs> stick pit at one point and the dog the dog. The current pit right now is like very down. So before, if everyone was sitting around the fire pit, you couldn't really sit up here because it was a sloped area. And this is down so low that it's not really that fun to sit around. So I think if we raise it up, I think it would be a lot more enjoyable for everyone. And there's also a shed here that we are going to be taking down. So this is going to be gone eventually. It's just rotting from the inside out. <laughs> and so that will be like a side project that's probably going to get worked into the fence project, but we'll get there when we get there. Let's do some measurements and see where we get with that. So when it comes to the fire pit, I think it'd be nice if we could build this up, put some aggregate down and put it all the way to the end of the fence. We could either like create kind of like levels, like steps, so we could cut into the land and then have this as like, it's like a little mini step and then put stone down so that you could actually even sit on this part with your feet down here and then enjoy the fire. What do you want? Do you have anything to say? This is the problem, Pup Pup. Look at all these. Yeah. Okay, so the last spot is the fence. So that's my she shack there, and it backs onto this fence. So I kind of think that we can use the she shack as a fence. So really all we need to do is take this off, move it forward a little bit, and then basically bring it up to the side of the she shack and let that be the rest of the backyard line. If I had something that I'd like to improve, it'd be having this one be wider. I know we're gonna remove this, but I think I'd like to use the material from this to build the parts that I wanna add to this. But I think that the door itself, like the building of the door is not, isn't so bad, eh? Like uh, if you just wanna scrape it and repaint it, then uh, like using the material is fine. The material's good to go. Cause we could even add a piece out so that this door is more centered instead of offset, which would also help. Hey, yeah. sad. Hi, Boo Boo. What's this over here? This your trench? This is all you. Ready? You ready? So I've taken all of the measurements and I've kind of put them on paper here, broken them down into a plan. So now what I want to do is I want to use my iPad to sketch out a best case scenario of what I'm thinking. And then from there, I can take that idea and start to turn it into a material list and a project plan. So when I go to sketch out my ideas, I like to use my iPad. I haven't always used an iPad. This is something I kind of adopted in the last year and a half or so. So using a program called Procreate, but before I was using Procreate, I used a program called Leonardo, which is another really great drawing app. I love Procreate. I put all of my drawing files on here, my ideas, my artwork. You do have to pay for it, but it is so worth it. I so recommend it if you are a creative person and you like to do sketches and drawing. So I think what I wanna do is start to take the photos that I took earlier and, and lay that down and and then start to draw on top of that of what my dream space is going to look 
look like. So I'm gonna do this for the greenhouse, the pit area, and for the gate area. So with that said, let's get started. Let's start sketching and uh, let's see what we can come up with. Okay, that took a really long time. <laughs> so let me walk you through them. So here's kind of my general greenhouse idea. I'm pretty good about naming my layers, but essentially every element on here gets a layer so that if I change my mind or I wanna remove something, it's very easy for me to do so. So what I did on my main layer was this like aggregate ground with a stone bed in front of it. Now this is probably actually going to get extended um, here and it's gonna come, come up and over here. So we'll keep that in mind. But anyways, basically we'll build on the greenhouse here. And then of course I built in some of the windows. There's gonna be some indoor garden area, which I drew in there. So we're gonna add some rocks, maybe some kind of like stepping stone or maybe I'll do it wood, but either way. And then I just added in some flower beds that's gonna be built into the side. And so I think overall, I have a pretty good idea of how big it's going to be and what I want it to look like. And with that um, if I like the look I can actually just start sourcing materials and what I'm gonna need based off of the drawing that I like. Then I'll show you what my fire pit looks like. Essentially we want to add in some aggregate dirt all around there. Then I want to dig out a section so that there is a retaining wall. I'm also going to build up the fire pit so that it is higher and will match the retaining wall. And then we'll build in some steps into like just like a double step into that hill. Then I can either add some flower beds or we can go and add in some stone steps and maybe put some flower pots in there and then to finish this off I want to add and build a little fire cover that can sit on top of it so that we can sit around it and uh, have a nice drink when we want to. I have a feeling maybe the stone steps are definitely the better case scenario. It would be nice that you can sit on the stone area and then like actually use it as seating. Okay and then last we have have my DIY gated area. Again, we want to soil everything off, kind of create an aggregate gravel top. And then I basically want to just rebuild out these doors, make them a bit wider, and then add this kind of like metal window area at the top, paint it black, maybe add some new gold hardware just to match my wood storage area. My goal is to reuse as much product as I possibly can when it comes to this fence. Drawing this out, this has actually really helped me visualize where I want to go with this and the measurements that I'm going to need for material and everything. So this was just such a great way for me to visualize things through because I'm a very visual person. So doing this step really helps me. So now that those sketches are done, I'm going to actually send those over into my Milano board and then we can start building out the project board. I'm focusing today on the greenhouse. I haven't been able to build out everything I want for the fire pit or the fence update, but I will show you kind of what I did for the greenhouse. And then this is going to get applied through all of my projects. So on this page, I basically built out a bunch of pillars, one for general notes, one is project steps, one is for materials, and the last one is for budget. And then I also pulled in my little sketch drawing because I like to like refer to it as a reminder. This is just very general right now and I always understand that. This is just kind of where every piece of information lives so I can share this with anyone coming in to help collaborate on these projects. So in my general notes, um, I've written down the dimensions. I also have noted that I need to apply for a zoning application <laughs> next week. This does not need a permit, uh, but it does need a zoning application applied. Just so if someone's ever to complain, it just means that I've covered all my bases. It just makes things a lot easier in the long run. <laughs> Hmm. <sighs> 
new binder smell. So in the next column then I write out my project steps. I kind of just like to like break down the steps in my head. I don't know, maybe that's just like a me thing, but it just helps me visualize the project on a grand scale. And then what I do is I start breaking down materials. So I actually go through each step and I'm like, okay, in the sourcing of the windows, what am I gonna need? And I'll write down my materials. And then for the digging of the earth, I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna need a skid steer that's gonna help me dig down. I'm gonna need a shovel, I'm gonna need a tamper. So I've written out my general materials here for the base, the greenhouse, the roof, and then anything else that I think I'm gonna need, like the garden bed and interior framing, which I'm hoping to repo the wood from the teardown of the second shed so that I can kind of save some money. And then in the budget, now this is very surface level. I kind of rushed this to like get something on a piece of paper, but I wanted to show you what my normal budgets will kind of look like or how I break them down. So what it's gonna to cost to build the base, what's the certain like base of the greenhouse, any rentals that I'm gonna have, general materials that I might have to buy. I always add a miscellaneous line of $200 and I always <laughs> end up spending that $200. And then I always build in a contingency. Best case scenario, you don't use the contingency, but at least you built it into your budget so that when you do go to use the contingency, you're not crying because you've gone over budget. That contingency just kind of gives you a little bit of a buffer. So I'm probably looking at a budget around $4,000 thousand dollars I always do my total I always add in an HST line because that's just life and this is just a rough budget like I didn't actually go searching for the best deals I'm gonna be searching for the best deals, so I'm hoping to bring down this budget astronomically but I did want to show you how I do that and then the last column here is the project timelines this changes a lot but I've kind of broken it down into step ones where the landscaping needs to happen first before anything and and then step two will be the greenhouse build. I'm hoping to start those things in May. So it's kind of one of those things that it's all TBD right now, depending on when rentals can come in, when I can get a hold of items. Like right now, I think my goal is to start looking for windows. Sometimes Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji, any buy and sell website will have them on for free. So I'm gonna start looking for a lot of cheap, cheap windows and materials and see if I can bring my budget down because I do not want to spend that much money on this. I'm willing to invest in something that I love and that I want, but also I want to be realistic and smart about what I'm trying to do. What I will do is I will create a very like blank version and I will share it with all of you so you can go in and use this as a template if you want to moving forward. Now I'm going to be creating videos for the greenhouse, for the fire pit, for the fence. So all the design plans are going to be shared in those videos. So please make sure you are subscribed if this excites you. You don't want to miss out. If you have any questions, please do let me know in the comment section below. I will try to answer as many as possible. And if you have any ideas for me, for my greenhouse, for my fire pit, for my fence, for my dog trench, <laughs> <laughs> Leave those in the comment section below because I would love to hear them. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. It really helps my channel. And of course, stay positive, my friends. Stay creative and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye.